Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to going to episodes 7 and 8 of The Dangers in My Heart. I gotta make sure. Yep. Mm -hmm. So let's go ahead and get started with episode 7 in 3, 2, 1. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you really like her. Yeah. Oh, he's gonna all oh. damn. Nothing. Poor baby. See, okay. The one thing that I love about this show, and it's funny because like the podcast that I was in last week, we talked about this, and I was like, we can't, y'all can't go too much into detail because I'm still on season one, but. Season one really shows how our main character, Ichikawa, he's slowly but surely falling in love with Yamana. And there are times where he's like, I'm not really sure if I love her, da 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 da, or like her and such. But it seems like he's already right here and now, episode seven. He is 110, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 200% sure that he is falling in love with her. And so something tells me when I get into the second half of this show, we're really going to see the development of these two. And I think it's going to be really sweet. Even though, yes, this show is airing on Saturdays and even when I'm busy and such, I do end up seeing, like, some things, as we talked about last week, I did see, like, one scene that, like, majority of my anime to, uh, Twitter pages that I follow, and I was like, oh, okay, I can't wait to get to see this part and see what the heck this means, because when you're coming from season one and you're looking at stuff from season two, you're like, hmm, out of context, I wonder what this means, I wonder what that means, and then I just, I, mm, I hate the fact that I have to wait. Mm. See, babe, you say that now, but you want to be with her. Stop looking at her boobs. No. Yes, she does. <laughs> Mm-hmm. 
<laughs> Could you like her? Billy. Yeah, mm hmm. No. Here you come. No. <laughs> Thank you.
Oh, oh. As women, we do. We do. Like seriously, you should see my mm, you should see my TikTok for you page. Oh God, like you you know when something really is for you when they end up showing a a girl who cries about oh my God I need to lose weight and the next thing you know it's like oh my God I can I want to eat <laughs> me in a nutshell like I really want to lose weight and then one food. Do you not want to do it? <laughs> oh, jelly. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I 
can't say that. <laughs> yeah, but the way she's taking it. <laughs> <laughs> Probably. Is it just one line? Her big one line. <laughs> 10 out of 10. It's all good. Oh, now he's finally able to watch it. Is this she one on the far right? Mm -hmm. 
poor baby. She doesn't fit the box because she's so tall. And all you see is just her I know that feeling. It's okay. See, the fact that I relate to her on just the tallness level and the big boobs era and such. Girl, just, yeah. You have a cute shirt on. Looks instantly sexualized because of the boobs. <laughs> she's so sweet okay now the fact is I love that she's getting other roles for just TV movie anything in general but, uh, even the fact that she only gets this big role with one line. That's okay. It's a very important line and such. You, you know, that's how, like, with little kids, and they get to star in a play, and, you know, as Ichikawa said, like, oh, you, you're playing, like, a tree or something? Yeah, you know, when you see a kid play a tree, they're like, oh my god, that's the most important role. And it's super cute when kids get like that. I was like, oh... Like, yeah, it's like it's a little baby. Oh my god. But no, like her literally her saying her line over and over again to him in the library. That was cute up until yeah, you had some people in the back being like, um No. <laughs> but no. Oh my god. I'm so proud of her. And then them even like Yamada wearing Ichikawa's <laughs> sweatshirt was hilarious to the point that, like, once she finally realized, and she's just so, she's so freaking cute. And she's like, yeah, oh my god, when did they get switched, girl? Stop playing dumb. I, I can't. I, I cannot. But the fact is that he also was like, I'm going to watch your show. And then the previous Tuesday, he missed it. So he made it damn well sure that he was going to be watching the next episode ASAP just to see her. I cannot. I, I literally cannot that is too freaking much and such that's how like i remember okay so years and years and years ago so let's go all the way back to 2016 2017 when i first started um so uh, before being in the podcast that i'm currently am in now there was one other podcast group that i was in in with for about uh, about like maybe three to six months until something happened I'm not really going to go into detail on that if you know you know um if you don't I'll say you know maybe message me on Twitter or X and then I'll talk to you about it but I just don't feel like talking about it because it is something let's just say that so what it used to kind of be like with this particular person he used to live stream um the podcast and such and so I was able you guys were able to see me in real time Da, 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 and such and so I had like a lot of people say like oh hey you if you want to come say hi to me whatever da, da, da. and I had like a lot of people that day literally come up and show up and so <laughs> it was really weird and I haven't like done a, a live stream in like the longest time like I did stream like a couple of times when I was still starting whether it was just like me sitting in my room like I'm currently doing now and just talking to you guys live or just anything and you guys just responding. Hell, remember the freaking one stream that I did that was like, I think we, there was a live stream I did that was like almost six hours and such and we were just hanging out and talking and I miss doing those. Like, those were the ones where you truly, I, you, I, I truly got to really sit and talk to you guys and literally talk to you guys about like anything. I, I mean, would I want to do it again? Oh, of course. Yeah, just to see how you guys are doing and such. I think that's really cool where you just get to like interact. Not only in like videos like this, but just on a live stream just talking about like random crap. Or if I'm playing a freaking game or whatever um, and such. I, I don't know if I would stream P3, especially where I am. Because, I, I mean, in P3, I'm still kind of at the beginning. I'm still, I think I'm in like... 
I can't even remember the date I'm on in the damn game. I know I just passed midterms and such. So, all I remember, like, where I am, I'm about to meet Igus. Um, and such, cause we're at the, we're at, um, Mitsuru's va uh, family vacation home for, for like the break and such. So that's, that's where I am in the reboot. So, but yeah, yeah, yeah. I, what have you played again? I mean, duh, cause Persona, duh. Um, I can't do like Mario Kart and stuff because like if I did that, it, it's like, I don't have OBS and everything, and because I'm doing everything on one laptop, even though my other laptop is right here, and I really need to kind of fix that laptop too, just in case, because you know, <laughs> um, but yeah, I, I just wish, like, just with PlayStation and stuff, that Nintendo would secretly have a little live stream right there that you could just stream from the dang console, but no. Nintendo. Ugh. But it's okay. It's okay. I'm not bitter. It's okay. Maybe one day. One day, one day. Mm -hmm. If I can get a, a gaming PC or some shit. But, like, gaming PCs are extremely expensive. And, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Go ahead and pause the video and I will see you guys in one second for episode seven. <laughs> Alright. Episode eight. Not seven. Eight. In three, two, one. What's wrong? Uh oh. It has to be the flu. What else would it be? I did it. Ha <laughs> <laughs> 
You want to praise for that, babe? Not as much as you do as him, cause duh, you like him too. Ooh, are those grapes on it? Damn, that look good. No, that hmm.
<laughs> Aww. No. My heart, once again, I cannot with them. But she wanted to do it regardless. <laughs> uh. Nice turn, though. I mean, damn, that was nice. You look cute. Her stuff was still in there. Oh.
Mm -mm. No, oh, baby. Yeah. Mm hmm. Could be Yamada. Here you go. If you do, go put some cologne on real quick. You'll be fine. No, oh, no. I know. Go check them on them. Go upstairs. Check on them. a shirt on him.
No. It sure is. Ah! I'm almost done. We can go get ice cream in a sack. Okay. The fact is, baby came and invited her for tea, and then poor baby, because he got sick and everything, shut up, boom. I'm almost done! Um, but no, like, he got sick, he, he put it, the, oh my god, that was so fucking cute, stop it! Oh my god, I can't, this damn show. The show is going to kill me. The show is going to once again make me believe in love again because hopeless romantic Deja is a hopeless romantic. Even though at the same time, she's over here like, don't want to be in love right now because, you know, I had guys in the past fuck me over and such. But no, you have anime that literally is over here like, yes, Deja. Believe in that love again. You will find your love. And I'm just like, damn it. Damn it. The fact is, like, Ishikawa went out of his way to get the bag and to bring it to her, which was super sweet. But, oh. Mm-hmm. Yep, that does. <laughs> That's okay. Yeah, yeah, hush. Okay, as I was saying, so one, literally him bringing the bag to her at the train station. The sweetest thing. But yeah, the saddest thing from that is the fact is that he got sick and stuff. And then so, I mean, because she really cares about him and stuff, and also because she also has a crush on him, 
I love that she went out of her way to go visit him, knock on the door and everything, and being like, okay, yeah, he's still sick and stuff. Maybe he's just too tired to answer the door. And she walks off, and he just, once he saw her, baby, booked it out of there, was like, hey, yo, oh my god, my girl is coming to see me. How you doing? And such. But no, like, that little moment when he, like, literally laid his head on her boobs. Oh my god, that was so cute. Like, stop. Once again, this damn show, between this and sign of affection, like, seriously. Y'all really want me to start believing in love again. Like, seriously, I, I swear to God. Like, oh my God, it's blurry. Like, even though we are officially done with the month of Valentine's Day and love, you know, me, th thank God. We thank God I did not have to work on Valentine's Day because, like, literally. I, I mean, as of right now, like I said, I am okay with being by myself, da, da, da. but there are some days where I'm like, yeah, I wish I had a person and such. But, you know, that's why I have, you know, chat AI or, yeah, character AI and stuff that helps in a way. But sometimes I just, will you shut up? Um, Sometimes I really just want to sit and talk to somebody and such and just, you know, let it all out and it's like that. But, you know, there there's consequences and pros and cons of being in a relationship. And we've already talked about that and such. But, no, literally seeing them... And, you know, our sign of affection, baby, is like, oh, I, I can't. Yeah, you're making be me believe in love again. And, <sighs> damn it. Freaking damn it. This show. I, I can't. It's just, <sighs> it's too wholesome and adorable. And I love it too freaking much. But other than that, guys, that is my active view towards episodes 7 and 8 of The Dangers in My Heart. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad, and of course, I will see you guys officially all next Saturday for Patreons and next Thursday for everybody else for episodes 9 and 10. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye!